If all you know about autism is that, Sesame Street has introduced its first character with the disorder, you should wise up. So start today, April 2nd, which the United Nations established as World Autism Awareness Day to raise consciousness about this lifelong brain development disorder that affects 1 in 68 children and impacts social interactions, learning and communication. We asked autism groups what you need to know. Wendy Fournier, President, National Autism Association. I can't give you a feel-good story on autism, said Fournier. We need to do a much better job when it comes to services and support for children and adults. With autism, we need meaningful resources and help for individuals and families. Don't just talk about doing something to help. Reach out to families that need help. Allison Singer, President, Autism Science Foundation. We've made tremendous advances through research. We've identified genes and environmental factors associated with autism, said Singer. There are new interventions we know are effective. But research is under threat with the current government cutting NIH funding for research. That will have a negative effect on people with autism. This is the time to double down on research, not to cut it. C.J. Volk, spokesman, Autism Speaks. We must increase understanding and acceptance of people with autism and their families, said Volk, adding that the group does this through its Light It Up Blue campaign. Children and adults with autism might have unique strengths and abilities that help them excel in school or the workplace, but they might also have significant challenges with social interaction, serious co-occurring conditions, highly restricted interests and, in some cases, repetitive behaviors or sensory sensitivities, we must do more than raise awareness, we must call attention to the diverse needs of people with autism and the challenges they face. Scott Bottish President, Autism Society of America the greatest message is that every person who has an autism diagnosis must be fully respected, valued and be provided a life of the highest dignity, said Bottish. Unfortunately, we are not there yet. Poverty, denial of appropriate and required publication, public education, unemployment or significant underemployment, denial of housing options and way more are unfortunately common characteristics of autistic individuals, Sandra McLennan, member, Autism National Committee. People with autism are much more aware and intelligent than they appear through our observations, said McLennan. The focus should not be on a cure but on providing support and accommodation in society so that people with autism can express their intelligence and abilities.